A lot of great things have recently been added to the Creative Cloud, uh, and it's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, I can go into the training, uh, the different updates, Muse, all that stuff. But I want to point out Photoshop, its updates, specifically its uh, HTML or CSS capabilities. Its capabilities for web designers and developers. Okay, so if you're a Creative Cloud member, just go out to the Creative Cloud, download the latest version, get it installed. Once you do, you can jump in there and you can start designing away. Now, I would typically use Photoshop because that's what I'm most comfortable with, but often what I'd have to do once I create a layout is I'd have to export uh, out all the graphics and then start writing all of the CSS, you know, for the position of this text and this text and the, the font color and size and all that stuff. I'd have to write that all from scratch, okay, or I'd have to give that uh, the, the image to the developer and, and, and they would hopefully come up with something close. But what you can do now is you can actually get these CSS properties for these items. Say, for instance, the background. Let's take a, look, a quick look. If I right click, oh, look, copy the CSS for the background. So it'd get the position and reference that image. Uh, let's take a look at this text, Paul Tranny here. If I right click on that text, copy the CSS for that text. And what does it copy? Well, it copies all of those properties, all these properties right in here. You know, 48 point, you can see all of it right in there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to copy that just like I just did. Did a copy CSS. Now I'm going to go ahead and use that in a page that I'm going to make in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to assume uh, you don't, you're, you might not be familiar with Dreamweaver. I'm going to assume a little knowledge here. So again, HTML, I'm going to make an HTML5 page with nothing on it. Click Create. I will save this page. I'm just saving it to this Paul Tranny Design folder. We'll call it Index since it's going to be the main page of my site. And I can start to change the title if I want to. And typically what you do once you get started in here is you might go into page properties and start changing the properties of this page. And watch what happens when I do this. If I change it to black and I click apply, you can see it generates that CSS right here. So if I change the text color, click apply, it has the text color for all of the body text as white. Okay, so you can see it there. So that's the easiest way to get familiar with CSS, okay? But I don't have to start uh, changing all the stuff because I've already made these decisions, okay? So what I can do is I can come in here and I can just paste in, remember I copied it earlier, and I can paste in that CSS style as you can see right here for this Paul Tranny class okay we don't see anything yet even if we type in the word what you're like well maybe do I type it in is that how that works no actually what you should do is you can go to the insert panel and just insert a div so everything wants really should be divided up in, in a div or a division so if I select div I'm gonna insert a div tag with the class Paul Tranny, okay? And we're gonna do this at insertion point, so it's gonna insert it right down here. So I'm gonna click OK, and there it is. It says the div class Paul Tranny, and I can get rid of that text right there, okay, which was right up there at the top, and you can see right over here, in fact, let me grab it, content for class Paul Tranny goes here. So I can just type in, say, Paul Tranny, just like that. All right. So again, it just creates the CSS, and this is using that CSS. All of these various, these, the CSS rule, all those various properties. And you can see what you can get. In fact, as I move it, you can see it changes the left and the top, basically the position of this item. Okay. Uh, but again, that came from Photoshop and is uh, working out great so far. And again, I didn't have to, I already made these decisions. I'm pasting in that CSS. Going further, I'll just save this page, jumping back into uh, Photoshop. I can go and take this, say this background. Uh, again, uh, be mindful of the layer name, BKGD. I'm going to copy the CSS for that image. And I'm going to paste it just below. Paste. And you can see that background CSS. And again, it's the same 
uh, the same process, inserting a div and I can give it a class name of background. If you happen to not do that, I can click OK. Well, there's my div. It's not doing anything. I can assign that class right down here. You can see there's my Paul Trani class, but there's my background class just right there. Okay, so it does the same thing. You can see that div class for Paul Trani, the div class for the background. Uh, you can see the content for a new div tag goes here. It's fine, but it's missing the image, isn't it? Where is the content, right? Where is it? Well, if we take a look right in here, background is referring to that background ping, which uh, doesn't seem to exist, I assume. Well, let's take a look, because if I go out to my folder, I'd want to take a look inside of images. There is nothing there. So it's a matter of exporting out those images. And this is, this is nice. I can just select all, copy, create a new file, just doing some shortcut keys here. Going to export out that particular uh, item, just doing a save for web. It's looking for a ping file. It can be ping 24 uh, or ping 8-bit. Doesn't really matter uh, in this case, but I'll just save this out. This ping 8-bit is going to be a little smaller. But nonetheless, I can save it with that same name, BKGD, just like that, saving out that image. All right. Once that's done, it did it for that, for that image. It recognizes it. It shows up automatically, and we can see that everything looks good, and I can start positioning it. And this is what's nice about this being in a div is I can start to move it. Okay, so let me just do a couple undos there, because what you typically might get uh, is uh, some positioning. So sometimes if the position doesn't come through, that's okay. You can you can always adjust any of these properties accordingly uh, as you see fit. Okay, because as I go into just design view, I can start to just to kind of manipulate that accordingly. Okay, and uh, that's what comes across is this CSS. That's how to map it to a div, okay, either using your properties panel as you select that div. You can uh, adjust that property or basically define it to point to that specific class uh, and th these are the various properties that come across okay and this is sort of our our first iteration of this we'll be working more on this I'm really excited because this is a lot of code that I didn't have to write from hand uh, I encourage you to uh, check it out even try out the trial trial version of Creative Cloud and and give it a whirl I think it's really gonna save a lot of time and hopefully really uh, educate uh, you as far as what's uh, being created when it comes to CSS and and visual elements.